Tonight on CBS 19, 10 at 10, Mazda Miatas are built for two. So the car was the perfect way for one man to propose marriage. We'll show you how it all worked out tonight on 10 at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thanks for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Dana Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. A Tyler man is in the Gregg County Jail this morning on a $2 million bond as family members mourn the victims he is accused of killing. Isaiah Roberts has now been arraigned in the shooting deaths of two women in Longview. According to Longview Police, early Sunday, Isaiah Roberts shot Shanda Martin, his ex-wife, and Kim Brayson, her friend, at Martin's home on Felma Street. Roberts then led police on a high-speed chase all the way into Tyler. Angela Lilly picked up the anti-violence banner and organized a prayer rally. They really were trying to do something to stop the violence, and they got murdered the next morning. Accounts for both victims have now been set up. For information on how you can donate to these two families, you can go to our website, cbs19.tv, and click on the hot button. In Athens, police arrest Raheem Miller for the fatal shooting of another man. Investigators say the 18-year-old shot and killed Cedric Collins during a robbery on June 8th. Collins was found dead outside of his car on Robbins Road. Miller is charged with capital murder and is being held on a $2 million bond. A day after state leaders approve a border security surge along the Mexican border, there's word that close to 300 women and children are caught trying to cross illegally into the U.S. The group turned themselves in to agents near McAllen in the Rio Grande Valley. More than a million dollars a week will be used to secure the borders, though it's not clear how exactly that money will be used. The Longview chapter of the NAACP will be holding a Juneteenth celebration this Saturday. It will be at the Broughton Recreation Center. There will be a parade followed by a community-wide picnic at the Center's Park. That parade is scheduled to begin at 11 o'clock on Martin Luther King Boulevard. They may want to bring their water and sunscreen <laughs> oh, yeah. to that event and their shades because it's heating up out there. We're getting into summer this weekend. Yeah, we are. Let's get over to Albert Brune. He's got a look at our Friday and our weekend. Albert. Clinton, Dana, here is your day planner forecast, and we're going to be looking at temperatures again, starting off in the mid-70s by noon, around uh, the mid-80s, and partly cloudy skies. It'll be humid, and it's going to be getting warm. We'll top out around 91, 92 degrees this afternoon. Notice these southwest winds not blowing very much, so again, drink plenty of water, wear that light-colored clothing as we start working our way into summer. Tomorrow is the first day of summer, and let's take a look at that three-day planner showing you that graphic. Summertime is beginning. 92 degrees tomorrow, then we're looking at 93 on Sunday, 94 by the time we get into Monday, and then we see a change in our forecast as we go ahead and take a look at that seven-day planner. Notice our next best chance of rain comes on Wednesday, about a 40% chance, perhaps even higher than that by the time we get to next week. Thursday looking at a 30% chance, and Friday a 30% chance, but warm throughout the period. All right, thank you, Albert. Got to be careful out there with these warmer temperatures. For the very latest all day long, you can go to CBS19.tv or TylerPaper.com. And tune in later today for CBS19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10.